Well, hundreds of soca lovers waved glow sticks in the air while they danced to music from some of the genre's top entertainers last night during night one of the Bahamas Carnival 2019 Carnival Experience Concert. Our Crystal Darling was among them. This concert... <laughs> was one of the events that kicked off Carnival Weekend under the theme Everything Bahamas Carnival. Trinidadian soca artist Bungie Garland and Patrice Roberts spoke to our news team about how the music genre of soca has grown internationally. I mean, it's playing on mainstream platforms, network TV, basketball games, football games, international rugby, this song just happen everywhere from artists that you don't even, you're not even thinking are likely that, hey, you know? So we, we, we are at an important stage right now, but if we don't capitalize on the moment now, we will miss it for the next 10 years again. I mean, I see music evolve from where I started to now. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of strength as soccer artists coming together, uniting and just pushing in as one. But I believe soccer music haven't made to speak yet. We are going to get out there. Both Bungie Garland and his wife, fellow soca artist Fayan Lyons, who shared the stage, spoke about the energy of the crowd. But when you stand on a stage in a country that is promoting carnival and unity and you see people who don't know each other, have no reason to even interact more than the music and the performance, holding hands, that speaks for itself. Yeah. Everybody just link up and having a time and no one wasn't thinking about if you're from Jamaica and you're from Cayman and you're from here. It was just like, you know what, we're all here in the moment. We love one another, let's enjoy the moment. And, you know, forces me see those things and they don't understand why this is the people. People themselves will get it together, you know. But people with agendas will never see it. One of the attendees, Paige Bastian, celebrated the event with friends and family. I'm having a blast actually. But we just came in, so we're just trying to enjoy what's going on now. And I'm coming to get clapped. This is the fifth year of Carnival here in the Bahamas, and CEO of Island Luck, Sebastian Bastian, focused on the company's continued support since its inception. When the government decided to pull out uh, last year, you know, we thought it was important to you know, keep what was already invested and take off and pick up where, where the government left off. You know, they did all the heavy lifting, so we're grateful for that. And now it's in the hands of the private sector, and you know, seeing all this, the, the vendors out here and all of the spin-off um, economic activity that Carnival actually brings. I know full well what Carnival does for a destination. Crystal Darling, Sadness Network News.